having bad mornings with your kids can be terrible. I have three kids myself and most mornings can be rough. After many years of self-inflicted emotional pain, I'm gonna teach you the five best habits to have that make your kids have easier mornings. Habit number one, start the night before. Every time. The kind of morning you have is always determined by the night before. Having a great evening routine that prepares you for the next morning is essential for when those kids jump up and start going crazy in the morning. Preparing for the next day will signal to them that you're wrapping things up and they need to start winding down, calming down, and not be so insanely crazy running around the house. Here's a couple things you should do that I have taken from my own life that will prepare you and your children for the next day. Lay out their clothes. I don't know about you, but kids hate mornings. They hate them. And on school days, it's even worse. They're not the most energetic people. Usually they're pretty grouchy, somewhat angry. They're not very happy to get up because they know they're going to school. And I have other one of my other daughters that loves school. So it really depends on the situation. But when I have them choose their clothes the night before, it makes things so much easier because in the morning, they don't have to think. They don't have to think, what am I wearing? What am I gonna do? They just see the clothes and they put them on and it makes your mornings so much easier. Planning bedtime. If you and your kids aren't getting enough sleep, mornings are gonna be harder no matter what you try. It doesn't matter, they're gonna be off. Generally, children need eight to 10 hours depending on their age, adults six to eight. So try to plan your sleep accordingly because it's just gonna make your mornings and yourself, your day, so much better. Committing to myself to six to eight hours of sleep every night and my children getting eight to 10, sometimes even more than that, has made our lives so much better. We're so much more energetic, we're so much more positive, we're so much happier in the morning, and it's been a better thing overall. Prepare their backpacks. Getting their backpacks prepared the night before is crucial to getting the morning routine down. If you can get them in the car earlier, like the night before, that's even better. If you live in an area where you can't do that, keep them by the door. I put hooks on the wall with their names so they know exactly where they have to go in the morning for their backpacks. Making lunches. When you make their lunches the night before, it saves so much time in the morning. It's a lot easier. They don't have to think, what can I eat? What am I gonna have? It's already prepared for them, and they just take it and go. Habit number two, wake up before your kids. If your kids wake you up in the morning, you're already two steps behind. It makes you groggy, makes you tired, it makes you angry sometimes. Waking up before them is crucial in the morning to get your morning routine going, and plus it makes it easier for you. Personally, I'm the happiest and most productive in my days, especially when I'm going to work, when I wake up an hour before my kids. I'm already awake, I'm already alert, I've already had my coffee, I've already let the dog out, I don't have to worry about it, and then I can go get them up, and I'm happy, I'm happy to see them instead of being like groggy and just falling out of bed. Habit number three, making breakfast ahead of time. You want your kids to have a solid breakfast every day. Some days, obviously, they're just not hungry and they don't want to eat. Other days, you really want them to have a solid breakfast. You want them to do it. So the way you do this is you prepare the night before. This always saves a lot of time in the morning, but it's dependent on their age. Some of the my kids that are older like to make their own breakfast. It's a sense of accomplishment that they can do it themselves. Habit number four, create extra time. Something always happens in the morning. They forgot their homework. They spilled something on their shirt. They forgot to go pee, um, they forgot to get their shoes. They, I mean, it could be, the, the, it's endless. Having a buffer in the morning makes this process a lot easier because then you're not rushed for time. When you rush, you get angry and upset and then you just end up making your kids upset and that's the emotional state they're gonna have all day and yourself all day and you don't want that to happen. So if you wanna leave happy, create a buffer time that's at least 15, 20 minutes. Habit number five, use your routine charts. Kids love visual reminders and what showing what their expectations are in the morning. These charts have really helped my children and I've seen them help all my friends' children really build responsibility in the morning and good habits. Having these charts gives them clear reminders of what to do in the morning so you don't have to constantly be hounding them. They can just read it and they know and it's their responsibility. I can tell you guys, I have an 11 year old, seven year old, five year old. Having these habits keeps you calmer in the morning. It keeps you so much more at ease, keeps the anger out. It helps your children as well, not just yourself. I hope you guys have liked these habits. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell. Thanks guys.